Good evening, Lexbots. Yes. Hello, I'm Jo, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who pay attention to the trends uh, currently going on YouTube, you may have heard the I tried a so-and-so makeup tutorial challenge is a thing. Well, um, Mikey from Glam and Gore actually did it recently, but she changed it up a bit. She did a James Charles makeup tutorial using only the audio. And I thought that was a really cool idea, and so we are going to be doing the same thing today, but with body paint. I had my friend Jordan, who is here with me, say, hey, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. This, okay. <laughs> but she has picked out a Made You Look tutorial, one of the only ones that I haven't seen, and we're going to do it today based off of just the audio to see uh, how it translates. Right. Let's get started. And also make sure that your skin is like really hydrated. I do have a hydrator and a moisturizer on underneath this paint, which I didn't show in the beginning of the tutorial, but I'm telling you now. I'm not mad about this part at all. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to go into like blockish face. <laughs> Ew, I got lotion in my mouth. I'm painting my face with Graftobian White Pro Paint and using the Made You Look Foundation Brush. Now, originally, I was just filling in the middle of my face, but I'm also going to fill in the edges in a minute. I'm also applying white eyeshadow all the areas that would crease. Oh, I thought she said something else. She just told you what kind of brush she used. Well, I'm using one that fell apart and has been in my kit for a hot minute. I'm then taking a matte chroma cake in light blue and the same foundation brush and just outlining my face, going underneath my cheekbones, around my jawbone, a little bit further in around my temples, actually going more towards my eyelid, and then also rimming my forehead. She said towards the eyelid? On the temples? Once again, to get these colors to blend together more easily, I'm then going in with white eyeshadow and the Made You Look Blending brush. I'm then taking Sugar Pill, a yellow eyeshadow, and going around the edges of the blue sections on my face. You could also go back in with Lime Green from Sugar Pill and kind of blend those colors together. I'm then taking my favorite blue from BH Cosmetics and going underneath my cheekbones to give a little bit of contouring. I'm also blending this color along my jaw. Also don't have BH Cosmetics, but I do have this here dark blue. It's funny, even if I wasn't turning myself into a fish, I would still have to make this fish face as my face is all cheek. Around my eyes. To put on the eyelid or to not put... No, 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 no. Trust the process. Yeah, because she would have said. And later, if we're eyeball naked, we'll know that uh, we were wrong. I'm then taking the same yellow sugar pill eyeshadow and going on my nose and just kind of making a patch. I'm concentrating in between my eyes and then further out past my nose. What? <laughs> Can I hear that again? I'm then taking the same yellow sugar pill eyeshadow and going on my nose and just kind of making a patch. I'm concentrating in between my eyes and then further out past my nose. So I'm in between my eyes and then it's okay, that's a patch. And then farther up past my nose. Okay. Bigger blendier brush. Okay, patch made. Then taking a little dab of orange eyeshadow, I'm just making a little dot in the center and blending it out. Throughout this entire tutorial, I'm going to be adding a white dot pattern to my face, to my neck, to my body. And I'm using Graftobian Pro Paint in white and the Major Little Detail brush for this. But like, where, Lex? And what do you mean around your body? We've only painted our face. Did she paint her body? We're fish, so we're pretty symmetrical, right? I'm just gonna go ham. I, you know what, I, I give up on making it symmetrical. I'm then applying Graftobian Pro Paint in white to my neck and my chest using the Made You Look Foundation brush. Try not to get it too much near your shoulders right now because we're gonna be adding some stripes. Using the light blue matte chroma cake and the same brush, I'm then outlining around my neck and my shoulders, and I'm just leaving those brush strokes in to blend those two colors together. I'm then taking a medium blue matte chroma cake and the Made You Look eyeshadow brush, and just dragging stripes down from my shoulders and in towards my sternum. I have an eyeshadow brush. Okay, same blue, out from our shoulders into our sternum, which is like right here. 
To shade each one of these, I'm then taking navy blue eyeshadow and just dragging it from behind oh, no, my shoulders shading. in towards my chest. That's the case. I feel like I've made too many. She's gonna watch this and be like, what? At least she watches it, you know? You know what? That will be the best part. Wait a doggone minute. She said chroma cakes. Those are like the aqua paints. I've been doing these with eyeshadow. I fluffed up. So she laid down a stripe and then she did take an eyeshadow and shaded it. Orange stripes and then using the matte chroma cake in orange, the same brush, and you might get a little bit of streakiness when going over the blue, but you just have to go over it a couple times. To shade these, I'm then taking a red eyeshadow and doing the exact same thing that I did with the blue stripes. To match my face, I'm then taking yellow eyeshadow by Sugar Pill and the Made You Look blending brush and just going around the blue on my neck. I'm also applying this color to my chest and a little bit into the stripes using the Made You Look blush brush. Add your dots if you would like. Lots of dots apparently. And if you are putting contacts in for this look, I would suggest putting your contacts in before applying blue body paint underneath your eyes in case your eyes- She said blue body paint underneath our eyes. We have done that. And then she said apply eyeliner with a detail brush. Now, I know she didn't say what kind, but I've watched enough of her tutorials to be like a little bit of a Lexus. If you would like the struggle of getting body paint out of your ears, you can then paint your ears in the center with white, the top with blue, and the bottom with orange. This is like essentially the body painter's equivalent of a wet willy. Ew. I know. And it doesn't make it any better that you're doing it to yourself because you're like you would think that that would help because you'd be like, at least I know when to <laughs> expect it. Ugh. No, no. I told it's you still nasty. I told you about the one time that I was... Sleeping Beauty, and I was asleep. And while I was asleep, Benny gave me a wet willy. This was during one of the middle of one of our performances. <laughs> Just a heads up, I will be out of town from the 12th to the 15th, so no, I did not disappear, and I'll have new videos Wait, when I get it? back. All right, Jordan, show me, show me what I'm supposed to look like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I have all of the same. Job. I have the same basic, the same yeah, basic look. It's all there. <laughs> She's so cool. Bang. I just want to be your best friend. Right, but like, had you seen this, you would have. You know what? That is true. This it. is so cool, and I might recreate this again, but like this, just because this is so beautiful. Um, Wow, summer mermaid makeup. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Okay, um, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I do really appreciate it. Um, this is my first time trying a, I tried a so and so's makeup tutorial using only the audio. And uh, it's hard, it's hard because I really, really wanted to look. Every time I got up to go pee, I was like, but I didn't look. I didn't look, obviously, because like this is what I look like. I do plan on doing another one of these because it was a lot of fun. Maybe I will try. Um, maybe I will try an SFX one. Maybe. I don't know. Thank you guys again so much for checking out this video, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.